Welcome back to Marble Live. We are here on the Marble Live deck. I'm Anjali Grochet. I'm Ryan Panagos. I'm Justin Warner. And we are here with the phenomenal, amazing voice actress, Julie Nathanson. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. How are you doing? I am in, I'm great. I'm good. I'm, I, this is, this is amazing. You I, have the voices I'm of amazed. all voices. I, I have some voices. <laughs> I, if I had all the voices, it would, it would, you know, preclude others from having their own work. Maybe a little creepy. It was so I was just thinking the same thing. Maybe a little creepy. If like all of a sudden I Christopher walking at you, you'd be like, I gotta go. I can't <laughs> do this. Can this you? is uncomfortable. Wait, can you, Christopher? No, I cannot. I am extremely versatile. That is not in my <laughs> wheelhouse. So wait, I mean, I feel like I just have to ask now. What what can you? I mean, you are on a you are on a number of amazing shows. You've got a couple of Marvel shows I do, that I, you are yes. doing. I have been doing. Uh, I've been voicing Crimson Widow, who is Yelena Belova, Ooh. on uh, Avengers Assemble for uh, several seasons now, and yeah. she's a blast. And I we're looking forward to more. Uh, we shall see. I'm never at liberty to say. Yeah. I, I am not even at liberty <laughs> to say here at Marvel. Actually, especially here at Marvel. Yeah. No, there's someone who's listening who just oh, will always. rappel down, grab you, <laughs> right back okay, up. But here's the thing. I'm the kind of person who will believe that. I'm like, <laughs> they're coming to get me right now. I live in fear of non-disclosure agreements. They terrify me to my core. But that's a professional. Like, that's that, true. That's good. Yeah, that's, you know, that's like great. That's why we... Uh, we all have them. We all yeah. have to like. like that would be our... a great villain for me to play, like to play against in a NDA. game. Is like just the <laughs> NDA. somebody in like a black suit who just says coming. NDA right yeah, across. Like, yeah, exactly. I loved when you started. You went into your your Yelena voice, Yelena. and you just your eyes changed. It was everything changed. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> no, it was phenomenal. So do you sit in the booth and you like literally you become? I definitely physicalize my characters. I always have, and I think that's something that is part and parcel to a lot of voice actors. MO like we we have to be able to embody the character yeah. enough that it feels right to us right and if I'm if I'm playing a character who's running and I'm like ah, ah, that's no fun right <laughs> <But if it's, laughs> okay, we gotta go like that's it's just that's a terrible imitation of the All way right, we do efforts okay okay <laughs> let, let me do a better one so if you're doing efforts for let's say a combat game okay, okay. or actually if you want to talk about Marvel since we're here Right? When, when I talk about obviously, <laughs> when Crimson Widow is going against, let's say, Black Widow, right? And she has to do some kind of leap, Ooh. right? I don't just go, huh! I go, huh! huh! Like that. Whoa. But I use my voice to do Ooh. it, and I use my body. That right, right here in front of you. You might have also blown out your earballs, so I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it. You had mentioned video games, yes. right? And, and obviously animation yes. with us. Is there a difference when you're in the booth for a video game versus when you're in the booth for animation? Yeah, I mean, the process for me of voicing a character always comes down to knowledge first, then empathy, then voice print. So I'm starting with, what do I know about this character? What is there to learn from the universe if it's part of canon, if there's any rendering I can look at, if there's you know story that I can read? And then I want to think about the iteration that I'm doing and, and what I can bring to the table. And then I want to work on empathy and figure out, how can I make this real for me? You know, I'm, I'm not by nature, I don't know if this will shock you as I have my unicorn pendant on, but I'm not by nature a relative, like, I'm not super villainous as people go, but I have to make Crimson Widow, I have to make Yelena Belova really believe that she's like in the right, yeah. right? No matter what. And then the last thing is voice print, which usually comes naturally at that point for whatever reason. Some voice will fall out of my head and, and it will have come out of that build from knowledge to empathy. So that process is the same. Mm -hmm. However, with video games, we will pretty much never, ever be able to read the entire script. Huh. So if you think about it, any huh. story that you know, you have the beginning, the middle, and the end. Right. You have the context. You understand the arc for any character. But with video games, that's pretty much impossible. Think about how many thousands of pages that would be. Wow. So we're basically cold reading when we get in the booth to do video games. Wow. For animation and for films, you know, for cartoons and for films, we're always reading the whole script ahead of time and we have a sense of what the heck we're doing. It's a different muscle. What's it like when you go through a drive through Do you ever just freestyle like who you are, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, Justin, that is actually you are amazing. unveiling layers of that, that is so amazing. And I'm excited. So the, best I want is, the best part is that I 
I pictured drive-in and I was like, so I, I go to a drive-in movie and I sit there and what am I doing? Oh no, he means food. Yeah, drive through. And then I thought about whether or not I'm hungry and then I thought, I don't remember if I ate lunch. And then I realized you're asking me, when am I actually just me? Yeah, or I mean, are you ever Crimson Widow ordering two cheeseburgers? Because you can, you have that power. Crimson and like, Widow. If I had any would. ability to get out of my normal monotone, yeah. I would, I would abuse the, the power. <laughs> but I am also probably more villainous than you. You know, I thought so. All the layers, Justin. I really thought so. <laughs> no, I um, I will say that it's really fun I'm with kids. Into it just to right. Make you think it's so cool. I, I generally don't freak out store clerks other than my general personality, which is obviously insane. Um, but I, I, do, I do feel like with, with little children, if I see a kid, especially at a convention, who seems really nervous, like, hi, um, is everything okay? Did you want to tell me all about what's happening at the con and why you're here? And then they're like, okay, you're my person. You're just Aww. like me. Aww. That's adorable. That's incredible. Like, <laughs> I, you, you said uh, empathy before. I think, or just empathizing with people is so yeah. important, and then yeah. getting into the headspace of, of the different characters. Yep. All right, changing gears completely, okay. though. No more empathy. We're here. Yeah, I, <laughs> empathy is out the window. <laughs> Done. Uh, we're here, Comic Con. Obviously, you're a part of so many cool things. Yeah. Do you, as a fan of things, get to go around? What are you What are you excited about when you come to a place like Comic Con? So I um, I had a break between interviews today. Today has been just a lot of wonderful nonstop talking to lovely humans. Like you're, nobody is lovely as you. Wow. I mean, Shucks. the best is right here. And um, I I like just honestly walking the floor and seeing the beautiful art, the comic book covers that I haven't seen, mm. some of the archive stuff. Um, I really can get into the paintings and the fan art that's out there that it turns into much more than fan art, I think. Um, so I get really taken by a lot of the visuals. Um, and then if there's a demo I can play, I mean, I always like to step in. I, I played, um, what did I get to play? I got to play the Kingdom Hearts demo at E3, which was a blast. Um, so, you know, getting an opportunity to kind of test out the waters and see what's coming next is really fun. Have you played Marvel Spider-Man for PlayStation 4, which is right downstairs? No, but really I'm so play? excited. I want oh to. Oh, my gosh. You're going to love it. I haven't I'm gotten to play it yet. You haven't so gotten to play? I know. I've been working all day. Is it because you know? you're evil? No, no, no. There's no. I don't think there's like a metric. You know what I mean? Like I don't think that they like take my evil temperature on the way okay. in. You know. Okay. But um, I, I don't know. It could be. Who knows? Okay. The, the fates have punished me. I mean, it's hard. I'll get there. But though, the I blue promise. glasses are are they're so disarming. Oh really? Yeah. Nice. I mean, absolutely. that's the goal, right? That's why we all wear costumes. Huh? I mean, absolutely. I really, I would have pegged you for a good guy any day of the week. Hear that, mom? <laughs> she paid me to say that. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, mom? Kind of Hi. piggybacking off of Ryan, how does it feel when you see yourself in some of these these pieces of artwork, like characters you've, you've played? Yeah, it's really wild, especially because to me, all of this art is collaborative to, in the first place, right? Yeah. So, you know, if I just concentrate on like, oh, how did my voice sound and how great am I? Like, first of all, I'm missing the point. Second of all, that's gross. I get excited to see how the animation turned out. I get excited to see how my character fits into gameplay. I love seeing if, and, and talking about a cold reading mm. for the video game world, you know, was I able to somehow impart a relationship between me and this person who was not in the room with me as I sat in my padded room and talked to myself for hours, <laughs> which is totally normal. Yeah, that's a thing <laughs> that Absolutely. Happens. Did that transpire the way that I wanted it to? And it's really fun. And, and you know, I mean, I'm, I, I definitely have gotten up early on a Saturday morning to watch a cartoon that I'm in. I still have been doing this for a really long time, and I'm yeah. still just as wide-eyed about it as the day I started. It's really fun. I love hearing that. We earlier we had a couple of wrestlers from WWE, and they have action figures like of them. Yes. Not even just the character. I mean, it's the characters that they play, but it's, no, but it's them. them. And it's you them. know, uh, seeing your enthusiasm and your excitement is a, it's awesome. It's infectious. It well, makes me thank happy. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, it's really great. Thanks. That makes me happy too. <laughs> do you guys so have in the pardon me in the voice acting like uh, world? Do you guys have any cool jargon? So like, I come from restaurants, right? and we'll say like, right. ah, that guy's eighty six. 
this over there and yeah. give them some sparkles. I would. <laughs> that means they want two people want sparkling water. Okay, but that, all I'm thinking about is glitter right now because we yeah, talked about glitter. Um, look, glitter, unicorns, great nails. Glitter, unicorn I'm nails. Here for all of your nails are amazing. Thank you very much. We can discuss them off yeah. camera if you we'll, want. I will tell it. you all about this action. Um, the producer is telling so, us to stretch, so I mean, okay, great. We, we can talk. So about the that. thing about glitter. Um, uh, so to answer your question, <laughs> I would say one piece of lingo would be give me an A, B, and a C on that. Ooh. So when you're doing, um, you know, generally if you're going down the page and, and it's time to do your single lines, right? Mm -hmm. We're not just doing dialogue together. They want to hear me say one thing. And the one thing is, I love to be at Comic-Con. It's the best. Okay? Right. And I, they say, well, give me, give me three in a row. And then I might give a B take, which is, I love to be at Comic-Con. <laughs> it's the best. And then I might do a, a C take, which would be better. I love to be at Comic Con, it's the best. Okay, so there are three different takes. I did that, but I meant three. So that's an A, B, and a C. So sometimes out in the real world, you know, you say something funny to your friend and you're like, can I, can I hear an A, B, and a C on that? Can I hear a B and a C? Can I have three takes on that? Um, trying to think about anything else that would actually be interesting to no. hear. That's that's just so cool. Like the having that <laughs> stuff. We all have those things. I I need to know more about sparkles. We're gonna find out about that <laughs> after we wrap here. All the glitter. Yeah. All the glitter. Uh, as obviously a big video game fan, what are your favorite types of games to play? You know, I'm. It's funny for me. I get really excited by what the artwork has to say for a game. So I love seeing a lot of the fantasy games because I like. I visually, it's stimulating for me. But, I mean, I can have fun playing Mario Kart, honestly. Like, just playing anything where I get to have a lot of action, it's really, really fun. So, I can't say that I have a favorite. That's great. Okay, I good. love that. I love you. that. Yeah. I win. <laughs> yeah, God. you win. So uh, much pressure.